Hello aspirants, welcome to AKMIS Academy. Today we are going to discuss about an interesting topic that has been recently in news is are the rings of Saturn going to disappear in future, especially in 2025? So we'll find out the answer to this question in the video. Let us discuss, right? First thing we have to understand is when we remember about solar system, we'll be coming across one planet which is so unique in terms of its uh, shape and size also which is Saturn right so when we study about solar system we we'll always remember that Saturn has a unique feature of having rings in the entire planet system of the solar system right so what is this ring and why they are going to disappear in 2025 which was revealed in the recent times by NASA and how this is going to happen and many other interesting facts regarding Saturn will be understanding in this video right so first thing we need to understand Saturn is one of the planet in the solar system right you can say especially is sixth planet right you know first planet we have is mercury venus earth mars so these are the four inner planets we call then we have jupiter saturn uranus and neptune pluto is not anymore considered as a planet right you know right here we have this as saturn that means from the sun if you consider this it is a sixth planet then you know saturn has a unique feature where there are certain rings around saturn so are they going to disappear that's a question we are going to deal in this video but before we start we have an announcement regarding tgpsc group 1 prelims come mains foundation batch which is about to start from 23rd september of this month right so if you see this course duration is of seven months including two years validity along with my value added material and also current affairs handouts also will be given including state specific current affairs this test series also is included as part of this course along with one-to-one -one mentorship not only this this entire course will be available both online as well as offline in bilingual mode along with mentorship right so if you want to enroll in this particular course you can contact us on this number right so let us see the point of discussion so here recently nasa has revealed right that in 2025 saturn's rings are going to disappear so then what is this about we'll be discussing here right so first thing we need to understand is saturn so what is uniqueness about saturn as i told you it is the sixth planet from the sun right so and we also have to keep in mind this is a gas giant because this is made up of gaseous elements gas giant it is not like rocky elements which is making the earth it is made up of gaseous elements and it is also lightest planet also in the solar system right and we also have to understand it has seven rings right so what is most important is so if you have seen saturn as a planet has formed around 4.8 billion years ago right billion years ago almost 4.3 is the time uh, 4.3 billion years ago we had earth formed also so saturn also formed around the same time then but if you see these rings they were formed comparatively younger at a later stage or you can say these are comparatively newer compared to the planet because they have formed around 440 million years ago right compared to the planet they're relatively younger right this is one you have to keep in mind and then if you see these rings are very unique because they have almost 2.18 lakh kilometers width right lakh kilometers width and they're very thin when you compare it with the planet so what are they made up of then the rings are made up of crushed comets asteroids and moons right so we'll also understand what is the difference between these at the end asteroids and moons at the same time they also extend to a height of 10 meters right so these are certain features of saturn rings then what is that what is making this topic more interesting is are they going to disappear right so when we visualize about saturn also we have that image of saturn having rings around it right so but then are these rings going to disappear are these rings soon to disappear in 2025 the answer to this is partly yes and partly no because technically if you see it is no right but it is mainly because of optical illusion right so what is this optical illusion we'll understand but saturn as a planet and its rings were actually found first time in 1610 by a famous scientist galileo right so he's the first person to find it out but generally what happens is you know earth and saturn being two planets of the solar system they revolve around the sun revolve around the sun 
in different orbits in different orbits and also at different tilt at different tilt right so this is what you have to understand that means last year if you see in 2023 right so the tilt of saturn with respect to earth if you see it is around 9 degree tilt right so at the point of time we had a good view of the ring system then this year if you see with respect to saturn the earth's tilt is almost 3 degree tilt right that means still also we can have somewhat better view but not that much view right so as the degree increases you know the tilt of uh, degree or you can say tilt degree increases we can have better view right but in the next year in 2025 so this 3 degree also comparatively decreases right so at the point of time earth as well as its rings saturn come on a straight line that means if the earth is like this saturn rings also will be on the side, straight line side by side so then they technically although they don't disappear but for our optical it will be like an illusion it will be for the viewers that they have dips appeared because it is almost flattened so it will be on side to the earth so you cannot see rings specifically that is what actually going to happen then is this first time means no for every 13 to 16 years it generally happens right so this is what they call it as saturn moon crossing right so this is what you have to keep in mind and you know saturn interestingly also had highest number of moons in the entire solar system 146 right so if you know which is the largest planet of the sol uh, saturn sorry which is the largest moon of the saturn try to put your answer in the comment section then we'll also understand about so this is what you have to understand right so this is what that the higher the degree more tilt will be there so you can watch it better but if you see here the tilt is getting decreased because of the lesser degree and you know by this year 2025 you can see almost rings are not visible from the earth that is what going to happen in 2025 then then if you see we also had to learn about terrestrial planets as well as jovian planets in the solar system right you know mercury venus earth mars so these are called terrestrial planets or inner planets which are generally made up of rocks right and they have high density also high density but weak magnetic field right so weak magnetic field is also there and they have less number of moons comparatively and if you see and they are closer to the sun right so this is what and they also have lesser rotational speed compared to the other planets but if you see jovian planets we have jupiter saturn uranus and neptune so these are the jovial planets or you can say jovian planets or gas giant planets so they are made up of gaseous elements and they have comparatively low density and strong magnetic field comparatively and they have more number of moons compared to the terrestrial planets and they also are very far away from the sun right that is why the glasses or gases what are there on the planets are not blown away far away from the sun and they also have higher rotational speed compared to the terrestrial planets right so these are certain differences then we'll also this Discuss about meteors, meteorites, comet, and all which we generally come across. Comet is nothing but an icy body, generally that is released in the form of gases, and it orbits around the sun, right? So you can see this is a gaseous light body, you can say, which generally icy body, you can say, which will be there in the universe. And meteoroid, me can you can see here, rocky or metallic fragment, generally a part of an asteroid, which can be coming as a planet. Okay, it can be part of asteroid, it can be part of a comet or a planet also, which can come. and hit any part right and we also have asteroid in the recent times this also have became a headache for nasa because there is one asteroid which is coming so close to the earth we don't know whether it will collide with the earth or whether there will be any change in direction in the future but this is becoming a headache for all the space agencies then this is also a rocky body but comparatively smaller than the planet right the remnants of planets we generally consider to form as asteroids and you know asteroid belt will be there between mars as well as jupiter then we also have meteorite meteor meteor a uh, meteor shower you can see so this will be a streak of light when generally they enter back into the its atmosphere the heat sub right and they catch this fire so that is what we call meteor or meteor shower so these are the things you have to keep in mind and meteorite is nothing but when it reaches the ground we call it as a meteorite so these are certain differences
Then let us say the practice question. Which of the following is the largest moon of the Saturn? That was the question asked. Try to put your answer in the comment section. Then as we have reached the end of the video, today we have discussed about Saturn and are the rings of Saturn going to disappear in 2025. We have seen the answer for this and what is the reason behind this along with many other interesting facts regarding Saturn. We also have seen what is the difference between terrestrial planets and Jovian planets. We also have discussed about asteroid, comet, meteor, meteorite as well as other important concepts with practice question. So this is the important discussion in terms of geography. If you like the video and found informative, do let us know in the comment section. Thanks for joining us. See you again.